break overnight at the Museum of Science and Industry after a construction worker is pinned under a forklift for nearly an hour. Good morning, everyone. I'm Erin Kennedy. And I'm Ryan Baker. The accident happened during work on the museum's year-long renovation project. Now the museum is working with the contractor to review safety procedures. As CBS 2's Eric Cox tells us, the man was trapped under heavy machinery after a sub-floor gave way. It was a frightening 45 minutes inside the Museum of Science and Industry, a 2,000-pound forklift falling on top of a 51-year-old man. And the forks were through the gentleman's arm. Chicago Fire Chief of Special Operations Tim Walsh tells CBS2 he was one of 40 first responders at the museum Monday night. The man they rescued is an independent contractor. He was doing electrical work around 10.30 when an access panel gave way underneath the forklift. The subfloor had given way. They were trying to lift that electrical vault out with the forklift, and it tipped and pinned the man below it. Pinned with at least 2,000 pounds on top of him. Chief Walsh says paramedics gave the man pain meds, keeping him awake and alert throughout the entire ordeal. Firefighters sharing these photos. Several rescuers trying to get the forklift out of the deep hole. It was about six feet below the regular floor. With the help of heavy tools, rescue crews were able to free the man. Our nonstop news crew capturing the moment he was wheeled out on a stretcher. The 51-year-old was taken to University of Chicago Medical Center with severe injuries to his left arm and less serious injuries to his left leg. Chief Walsh says he should be okay and isn't expected to lose a limb. As far as we know right now, everything's uh, fine and UFC is doing a good job. They have excellent trauma surgeons there. In Hyde Park, Eric Cox, CBS2 News.